Hi, I'm Jan Cather. On behalf of all of the professors in the art department, Derek Chalfant, Chris Longwell, and Aaron Cather, I'm going to be talking to you today about the art program. I'm going to do this by showing you photos of artwork done by students who have recently taken classes at Elmira College. Students will have a, a wide variety of experiences from very traditional kinds of learning to um, really understanding what contemporary art is about. That will happen both in studio classes and in art history classes. All art majors will take what is called a seminar in art criticism where you would have to learn to write and talk about art, not just contemporary art, but all, all the art that we know in throughout art history. So this is something that um, is special about Elmira because you can be taking studio classes um, but also you could double major. Another thing that you can do is minor in art. You take fewer art classes but it allows you to uh, study with your major. Let's say that you are a nursing major which is a pretty intensive course of study you could still fit in some of the art classes so that you could end up being an art minor. On the other hand, maybe you just don't have time to take enough courses for the art minor. Then you would just be taking art classes that you love. You might like drawing or painting. Maybe you want to try something that you've never done before. At Elmira College, you can do that. Our classes are small and our studios are quite large. They are housed in a building that's called Facet Hall. And on the lower level of Facet Hall, we have the ceramic studios and the sculpture studios. There's a kiln area outside the building for firing uh, the ceramic pieces. There's also a place to do some welding. And um, there's other things is, that uh, I'm not real conversant on, which are have to do with the drills and saws and so forth. That is all taught. The sculpture area uh, is handled by our professor, Derek Chalfant. Uh, ceramics is run by Professor Chris Longwell. He also teaches printmaking. The printmaking studio is found on the second floor, and he teaches various kinds of printmaking, but uh, it's very popular to, uh, to use linoleum cut, for instance. Maybe some of you have had some experience in that uh, when in your high schools or even in your elementary school. Also on the second floor, is the, there are painting and uh, drawing studios. These are uh, large studios, and in particular, the drawing studio has windows to the uh, north and west so that you get a lot of uh, wonderful natural light for drawing. That studio is a very popular studio. People who will, are taking watercolor will be in that, in that studio. Uh, Do uh, Derek Chauvin teaches uh, his art therapy class in that studio. So um, you'll have access to many different parts of the building depending on what classes you have. There's also um, events that happen in our building, such as the Open Studio, which happens every spring. That's an event that our art club uh, organizes, and we invite the whole community to come in and take a look at our studios and participate in some art projects. It's a really fun time. Musicians come, uh, the uh, radio station, uh, plays music, sometimes Sybil, which is our student group that uh, has a literary journal. They'll read their poetry. Um, a cappella is sung by an easy naturals. It's a very fun time, and so sometimes that building gets pretty noisy, but lots of fun. Uh, if you're interested in media arts, which is my area, you would be taking classes in the Gannett Trip Library. There is a traditional darkroom in that library and uh, also the what we call Lab C. It has Macintosh computers and Adobe software installed on it. We do our videos for the most part with the iMovie uh, and we um, will sometimes be making music with uh, GarageBand or at least engineering some music that way. 
So students who want to learn digital, how to create digital content will often take classes with me, such as uh, the Electronic Art Studio uh, or the Video Art class. I also teach a class called uh, Digital Studio Art Without Borders. This class allows you to get a, cr a global pillar credit So, uh, because we look at art throughout the world. There are so many opportunities for Elmira College students. They can work in the George Waters Gallery. They can show their work in the George Waters Gallery. They can take a museum studies class with Dr. Mark Pittner, usually with an Asian art focus as you can see in the Gannett Trip Library last year. They could also take Dr. Charlie Mitchell, who is an expert in the Hudson River School painting uh, period in New York State. The Art Club provides opportunities for students to go off campus. Sometimes we have students who have personal uh, artifacts that they would like to show, such as uh, this student who is a uh, Haudenosaunee student. If you're interested in our programs, you're welcome to come to campus and visit our studios. Uh, if you get in touch with uh, the admissions office, you'll be able to plan a visit during a class time if that would be of interest, or you can email any of us. Thank you so much. We hope to see you soon.